All right, as you can see, this is HP convertible laptop. Let me check the model number. This is similar to X360. The model number is 14 dash DW0522SA. It's very difficult to read from the back because such a small print, but that is the model number. Once again, 14 dash DW0522SA. So today in this video, what are you going to do? We're going to get into BIOS, change a couple of major settings to enable that UEFI USB boot to reinstall Windows 10 or 11. The procedure is same. Okay, and that is my bootable uh, thumb drive. So first of all, what you need to do, you need to switch off your laptop completely. Connect this bootable USB thumb drive. If you don't have one, how to create one, you can see uh, another video already I produced and in my channel. Okay, and make sure while you do any sort of reboot, I highly recommend to connect the charger. So turn on and keep pressing F10. As you can see, it takes directly to the BIOS screen. Okay. It's quite straightforward. So press the power button, keep pressing F10 simultaneously, then you're going to see this main screen. So as you can see, there are a few sections. One of them is called Main, Security, Configuration, Boot, Options, Exit. All right. Those are the ones. So in the main section, you can only see the details about your machines like model number, you know, about CPU details, memory details and everything. Okay, in here, as you can see, the TPM uh, state and TPM device, make sure that is enabled. And then we're going to go to configuration. From here, we'll check if there is anything. There is nothing to change, to be honest. Okay, then we're going to go to press ESC1 and then go to boot, which is the right option. And from here, first of all, what you need to do, the secure boot, which is enable. So if your one is not enable, make sure you make it enable by pressing enter, then going up and down and hit enter again. And once the secure boot is on, then as you can see, there are EVFI USB flash drive is the first choice. As you can see, this is on the top. Okay, you can change it by pressing F5 and F6. And then we're going to go to exit. And from exit, we're going to save the changes and then we'll restart the system. And the system would automatically recognize the bootable USB drum drive and hopefully that will turn on. And also there is another option what you could do. Why did it restart it? If you keep pressing F9, it will take you directly to the temporary boot option. And from here as well, you can choose whatever you want. As you can see, the USB is the top one, the black marked, and I'm going to hit enter. Once I hit enter again, it would take a little bit of time, let's say a couple of minutes or even more. It depends on how fast is your computer plus the USB. If the USB genuine SanDisk or Kingston, not the cheap one from Amazon that we normally buy or eBay, those are very cheap and very slow. So if you have the genuine first one, it would be much more faster. Okay, don't be confused. Give it a time and it should be fine. As you can see, now we are on the main screen. Here you go. So this is pretty simple from here, but still I'm going to continue the video just to see at the end if you are successful or not. One thing need to mention here. So while it, it comes to the Windows setup page, the touchpad no longer does work, okay? Uh, this is quite common, so don't be surprised, don't be confused, this is absolutely fine. The touch panel plus the trackpad, both of them is not functional, so I had to connect my external USB mouse just to continue this process. And once the Windows installation has finished, we can um, update the trackpad driver and everything would be fine. So go to customs. Now, as you can see, there are many partitions. Uh, back up your files before we delete any of this partition. Otherwise, you're going to lose your data completely. I'm going to delete one of them. I'm going to keep only one partition. 
uh, by deleting everything as you can see now 238 SSD space you can click new or you can just click on next once you do that it's going to start up to copy every single files and necessary folders uh, from the USB drive to the SSD which is C drive and it would go up to 100% it would take a lot of terms and condition to agree or disagree to finalize the setup and then hopefully it should be fine so let's carry on and see what happened at the end Alright, so at this stage, the Windows setup would take a couple of restart. But what happened is, let me mention something. Uh, because of the USB is the first choice for boot option. So while it restart, that might be go back to the same thing again from Windows setup from zero to start up again. Okay, that's a common problem. So let's see what happened. It's restarting. It should continue with the ongoing setup, but sometimes it doesn't happen. It goes back to the same thing again. I'm going to wait just to check. All right. As you can see, this is uh, back to the Windows setup page, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, there is a trick we need to play. In that point, we're going to disconnect this bootable USB thumb drive because that is our first choice from the boot menu and that's the reason while it restart it goes back to the first priority boot option which is selected to USB boot so we're going to close this page and before we do that we're going to disconnect the bootable USB and while it restart again is now going to go back to the USB boot because there is no more USB connected. So let's do it. All right, so we can see the Windows setup is continue with the previous one. It's not going back to zero again because there is no USB which is bootable USB connected okay that's the main reason so you can play same trick with any model if it goes back to you know setup page again just disconnect it continue you don't have to even connect back the bootable USB thumb drive because whatever Windows needed to set up everything is there already copied as you can see everything is fine now we're going to connect to internet we'll try to update the windows when you do update the update will take the trackpad driver and everything would be fine as you can see there are many updates going on and you might need to do a couple of restart As you can see the trackpad is working still if you do have any question please leave it in the comment section and i hope i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye for now